how the Christians oppose the first commandment of the Bible, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. You shall have no other gods besides me. How the Christians straight and Muslims remain upon guidance. The Messenger of Allah, Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Do not exaggerate in praising me as the Christians have exaggerated the praise of Jesus son of Mary, for I am only a servant. So say, he is the servant of Allah and his messenger. Al-Bukhari, no. 3445 The Bible states the first commandment as, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. You shall have no other gods besides me. Exodus 20 verses 2 to 3, This is the God of Moses, peace be upon him. It was he who sent Jesus as his servant and messenger, and not as a god to be worshipped. In the New Testament, the first commandment is reiterated. Jesus declared, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. Matthew 22 verses 37 to 38. So Jesus, peace be upon himself, confirms the Lord of Moses, who is the true God worthy of worship and love. Many Christian theologians and scholars recognize that only one God, the Lord and Creator of all existence must be worshipped. The German theologian Martin Luther, a seminal figure in the Protestant Reformation, died 1546 CE, stated, Idolatry consists not merely in erecting an image and worshipping it, but rather in the heart, which stands gaping at something else, and seeks help and consolation from creatures, saints, or devils, and neither cares for God, nor looks to him for so much good as to believe that he is willing to help. Neither believes that whatever good it experiences comes from God. The Large Catechism 3, Part 1, The First Commandment, translated by F. Bent and W. H. T. Dow, published in Triglot Concordia. The Symbolical Books of the Ev. Lutheran Church, St. Louis, Concordia Publishing House, 1921, pp. 565-773. Ref. W. P. John Calvin, French theologian, pastor and Protestant reformer, died 1564. We know that when the Israelites worshipped their Balaam, numerous local deities, they did not substitute them in the place of God as to put him altogether aside. And assigned to them the supreme power, nevertheless, this was an intolerable profanation of God's worship. John Calvin, Harmony of the Law, Part 1, The Law, The First Commandment. Calvin in his writings reminds the Christians of the warning of Moses to the Israelites against the worship of any other gods besides the Lord of all existence, you shall not follow other gods. Any of the gods of the peoples who surround you, for the Lord your God in the midst of you is a God demanding faithfulness and exclusive worship. Otherwise the anger of the Lord your God will be kindled against you, and he will wipe you off the face of the earth. Deuteronomy 6 14. Despite this, Christians insist on the worship of Jesus the Son of Mary, peace be upon them both. In this, they contradict the scriptures, they contradict their claim to monotheism, and they oppose the teachings of Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad, peace be upon them all. Furthermore, the Bible states, You shall not make for yourself an idol or any likeness of what is in heaven above or on the earth beneath or in the water under the earth. You shall not worship them or serve them for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God. Exodus 20 verse 4, and this forms the basis of the second commandment. However, Christians make images of Christ, call him God and worship him, yet still claim they are worshippers of the one Lord of creation. According to the Bible, God said to Moses, Peace be upon him, you saw no manner of similitude on the day that the Lord spoke with you out of the midst of the fire. Deuteronomy 4 15. The famous English Puritan and theologian Thomas Watson, 1686 CE, commented, How can anyone paint the deity? Can they make an image of that which they never saw? It is impossible to make a picture of the soul, or to paint the angels because they are of a spiritual nature, much less can we paint God by an image, who is infinite. To worship God by an image is both absurd and unlawful. The Ten Commandments, 1692 CE As Muslims, we believe that angels are actually a physical creation, but nevertheless, Islam forbids making images and statues of prophets. Angels or any of God's creatures that have a soul whether human or beast. Christians seem to have no such qualms. They make images of prophets, angels, and God, yet they have never seen them. Furthermore, they were forbidden from making such depictions in Scripture. What is baffling is that they make statues and images on pure guesswork and conjecture since they do not know what Mary, may God be pleased with her, looked like.
nor Jesus Christ or the disciples, let alone God, yet they make image after image and statue upon statue from their whims. Each country, even each township has its own depictions. In some countries, Jesus is portrayed and drawn as a white European with blonde hair, whilst in others, he is portrayed as being a black African with tight curly hair. If this is not idolatry, then what is idolatry? Many Christian scholars affirm that the true God to be worshipped is the God of all of the prophets. The sole Lord of creation, Satan deceived the Christians and they fell into polytheism by worshipping Jesus and his mother in the form of statues, portraits and the cross or by simply deifying them in their hearts and minds. The Bible states, You shall not make for yourselves idols, nor shall you set up for yourselves an image or a sacred pillar, nor shall you place a figured stone in your land to bow down to it. For I am the Lord your God. Leviticus 26 verse 1 How many places across the world do we see stone images of Mary with baby Jesus in her arms? Or statues of Christ himself in churches and elsewhere, some stretching meters high and others small figurines. You see thousands of Christians gathering and prostrating to these images and statues of stone. This is the very idolatry that is forbidden in scripture and by sound intellect that nullifies their claim to monotheism. Therefore to direct worship of any sort towards the prophet Jesus or his mother is a clear violation of this universally agreed upon commandment. God, Allah, stated in the Quran. From the signs of Allah that point towards his greatness and oneness is the night and the day in their coming after one another, and the sun and moon. O people! Do not prostrate to the sun nor the moon, rather, prostrate to Allah alone who created them all, if you truly do worship him. So if they show arrogance, turning away, not prostrating to Allah the Creator, the angels that are with Allah glorify and praise him, may he be glorified, throughout the day and night anyway. And they do not become bored of worshipping him. Fusilat 37-38 Furthermore, God states, The Christians who say that Allah is the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary have committed disbelief, as they have attributed lordship to someone other than Allah. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, himself said to them, O Israelites, worship Allah alone. He is my Lord and your Lord. We are all his servants. Whoever ascribes anything as a partner to Allah, then Allah will not allow them to ever enter paradise and their place will be the fire of hell. They will have no one to help or assist them before Allah and no one to save them from the punishment that awaits them. Almida 72 And, they have disbelieved who say, God is the third of three, in a trinity. Quran 5 hours 73 minutes God stated in the Quran The Christians who say that Allah is part of the trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit have committed disbelief. Allah is far above such a statement. Allah is not many, but he is only one God who has no partner. If they do not stop saying such things, a painful punishment will afflict them. Will these people not retract this statement, repent to Allah and ask his forgiveness for the idolatry they committed? Allah is forgiving towards the one who repents, whatever may have been the sin, even if it was disbelief. Allah is compassionate to the believers. Almida 73-74 In this verse God makes clear that Jesus is a messenger of God, Mary is a truthful woman and both were humans because they ate food, which was provided to them by their Lord, showing that they were reliant upon their Lord. For any Muslim to direct worship to a prophet, a rock, a grave, an angel or anyone besides God is considered to be idolatry. Jesus was a sincere and humble servant of God. Remember that Allah will address Jesus son of Mary, peace be with him, on the day of rising and ask him whether he told people to worship him and his mother besides Allah. Jesus will reply, declaring Allah's purity, it was not right for me to tell them anything but the truth. If I had said that you would know it, because nothing is hidden from you. You know what I keep hidden within myself, but I do not know what is with you. You are the only one who knows everything that is hidden and everything that is apparent. Jesus will say to his Lord, I only told people what you instructed me to tell them, to worship you alone. For as long as I remained amongst them I watched over what they were saying. When my term ended and I was raised to the sky alive, you, O Lord, were watching their actions. You are a witness to everything and nothing is hidden from you, so you know what I said to them and what they said after me. Quran 5 116-117 Even in the Bible, there are clear statements showing that Jesus, peace be upon him, would direct worship to Allah. Read here a verse from the Christian Bible read by all Christian Arabs, and Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good except Allah alone. 
Mark 10 verse 18. Here Jesus distinguishes himself from God, i.e. that he is the worshipper and Allah is the one to be worshipped. In the Old Testament of the Arabic Bible, we find the following, In the beginning, Allah created the heavens and the earth, Genesis, verse 1. Many Christians in the English-speaking world become astonished when they read these words because they imagine that Allah is exclusively the deity of the Muslims. But the reality is that Allah is the Lord and God who created Adam and made him the first prophet, he is the same God who sent Noah, Abraham, Isaac, Ishmael, Jacob, Moses, John, Jesus and Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon them all. Many people in the West perceive Allah as a foreign god of the Arabs. But now you can see that the name Allah refers to the one God, Lord, and Creator of all existence, who has the sole right to be worshipped. How to Become a Muslim A person becomes a Muslim by saying, Ashadu in la ilaha illa wa ashadu anna Muhammad and abduhu wa razulu, which means, I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped except Allah, and I bear witness that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. This can be said alone or in the company of others. This declaration enters a person into Islam. If Musa and Isa, Moses and Jesus, were present today, they would have no choice but to follow the book and Sunnah because it is sufficient. Allah, the Most High, stated, and we have sent down to you the book as clarification for all things and as guidance and mercy and good tidings for the Muslims. 16 hours 89 minutes. The Prophet said, Are you hesitant or uncertain, O son of Kitab? I have come to you with that which is pure and clear proof. And if Musa, may Allah's peace be upon him, was alive, and then you were to follow him and abandon following me, you would certainly have strayed. It was mentioned by al Haythami in Majma Azizawid from Jabir, Radiallahu Anhu, in Kitab al Alam, Chapter. It is not for anyone's speech to be placed alongside that of Allah's Messenger, Salallahu Alaihi Wasallam. 1 174, No. 808, He said it was reported by Ahmad, 3387, Abu Yala, 4102, No. 2235, and Al Bazar. Also, Ibn Abi Shaba in his Muzanif, 5312, No. 26,421. And in a narration. Umar ibn al-Khattab came to the Prophet with a book or scroll that he had acquired from some of the people of the book. He read it to the Prophet. So the Prophet became angry and said, Are you hesitant regarding it, O son of al-Khattab? By the one in whose hand is my soul, I have certainly been sent with that which is pure and clear proof. Do not ask them, the people of the book, about anything, for they may inform you of something which is true and you may reject it. Or they may inform you of something which is false and you may believe it. By the one in whose hand is my soul, even if Musa, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, was alive, he would have no choice but to follow me. Reported by Ahmad in his Musnad, 3387, no. 14859, from Jabir ibn Abdullah and declared Hassan by al-Albani in Irwa al-Ghalil, 1589. Al-Imam Abdulaziz ibn Baz commented, This affair is something that is clear in the saying of Allah, the Most High. And whoever desires other than Islam as religion never will it be accepted from him, and he, in the hereafter, will be among the losers. 3 hours 85 minutes, and likewise, his saying. And let those who oppose the Messenger's commandment, i.e. his sunnah, beware, lest some fitnah, trials and afflictions, befall them or a painful torment be inflicted on them. And Nur. 63. Allah, the Most High, also said, And whatever the Messenger has given you, take. And what he has forbidden you, refrain from. And fear Allah. Indeed, Allah is severe in punishment. al Hashr 7. So all of this proves that it is obligatory upon the whole Ummah to follow the Messenger, Salallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Even if Prophets Musa and Isa, peace be upon them both, and other than them. If they were present today, they would have no choice but to follow the Messenger Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. That is because he was sent to all of mankind. Say, O Muhammad, O mankind! Verily, I am sent to you all as the Messenger of Allah, to whom belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth. None has the right to be worshipped but he. It is he who gives life and causes death. 
so believe in Allah and his messenger, the prophet who can neither read nor write, who believes in Allah and his words. And follow him so that you may be guided. al Araf 158 So it is binding upon all of the Ummah, men and women, Arab and non-Arab, human and jinn to follow the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. And to submit to his legislation, Sharia, in accordance to what has been revealed in the mighty Quran and the pure Sunnah, and it is not allowed for anyone to exit from the C. Tile IQ Samahad Sheikh Al Imam Abdulaziz ibn Baz Allah Kitab Fadl Al Islam Li Sheikh Al Islam Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab, pp. Sixteen to seventeen. It is not permitted for a Muslim to seek religious rulings from the Jews and Christians, or to take the understanding of the religion from them, not in belief. Worship or concerning what is halal and haram. This is alongside the fact that they actually received scripture before the coming of the messenger. However, they changed with their own hands what was revealed to their prophets and they distorted it to the point that its truth became indistinguishable from falsehood. For this reason, the messenger said to Umar, May Allah be pleased with him. Do not ask them, the people of the book, about anything. For they may inform you concerning something which is true and you reject it or they may inform you concerning something which is false and you believe it. Ponder, therefore, how much more corrupt are those who establish their belief in the Creator and the creation of the universe from the teachings of the Greek philosophers and their latter-day heretical counterparts, all of whom who were devoid of revelation and guidance. Those who establish their religion using these false ideologies and thoughts are misguided, if not heretical innovators who have deviated far away from the methodology of the Quran and Sunnah and the early Salaf. Ibn Abbas said, Why do you ask the people of the book about anything while your book, the Quran, which was revealed to Allah's Messenger, is the latest, revelation? You read it pure, undistorted, and unchanged. And Allah has informed you that the people of the book, the Jews and Christians, changed and distorted their scripture and wrote it with their own hands and said, It is from Allah. To sell it for a meager profit. Does not the knowledge which has come to you prevent you from asking them about anything? No, by Allah, we have never seen any man from them asking you regarding what has been revealed to you. Al-Bukhari, no. 7363